Hi, I'm here today to introduce you to the newest model of the Zev Electric line. This is our new Uber bike, the Zev LRC X. This is a 30 kW bike and it's meant to be the Uber bike to beat all other electric motor scooters on the market. It is the world's longest range and fastest electric motor scooter and it's going to give more than a few electric motorcycles and even gas motorcycles a fit. This bike may be styled as a motor scooter and that's how we did it so we would have the benefit of a very large underseat storage area. We wanted a low seat height so a lot of people can ride it, a bigger range of people. The distance from the back of the seat to the front of the footwell allows riders that are over six feet in height to be able to ride quite easily. And our largest rider for this bike is about 360 pounds. Now when we came with the LRCX, this was mostly a response, by response to people asking that we would be able to make extreme range. So this bike was designed to run 200 mile range out on the highway in the standard mode. It has a high performance mode that has extremely high performance where it will spin the back tire and make the front end quite light. It's a, a torque monster. In the econ mode we haven't even tested how far it's possible to run, but we know here in the mountains of West Virginia that 200 miles range at highway speeds is quite possible. So, just because a bike style is a motor scooter doesn't mean it can't be a performance bike. It behaves like a, like a hot rod. This bike has dual front discs, a very large size, And what makes our bikes unusual compared to, say, most motorcycles is it has a very wide front tire with a lot of, a lot of tire on the road for good braking. Moving back across the bike, this bike has a feature that I think everybody will like when you park on a hill. You can lock the brakes. So this bike can't move. Now you don't have to worry about putting it front end in towards the curb and trying to get, get back out again. It also has reverse. This will help just about anybody maneuver this bike or any bike. Reverse is just wonderful on the motorcycle. If you take a look at the instrument panel, you'll see that it's all digital. We have the voltmeter on the left. This is a 120 volt when it's fully charged bike. Speedometer in the middle. These are available in kilometers per hour or miles per hour. On the far right this is, this is not a clock, this is an elapsed time um, clock so that it can, uh, you can track how long you've been driving to help you estimate your mileage and your odometer is below that. In the controls you'll see that on this bike there is a little toggle switch here and this is your econ mode, normal power mode and maniac or crazy mode. Unlike the other LRCs where we have a speed limiter in the various modes, in this bike, this bike will run as fast as you want it to in econ up to the point where aerodynamic drag balances the motor and the bike won't run any faster. In the standard mode, the bike is able to run about 85, 86 mile an hour that we can test here in the mountains of West Virginia in the performance mode. It'll easily blow through 100 miles an hour.
the bike has storage areas in the front. and an exceptionally large storage area under the seat. One of the features of these bikes is that we try to put everything that you would need to access for testing, for diagnostics, is all right there. It's like opening the hood on your car. So any place that you need to take voltage reading or check if something is uh, behaving properly, you can do all of your diagnostics right there. Now, with 30 kW becomes, comes the problems of getting rid of the heat of 30 kW, and this is something that we've worked on long and hard. Our controllers sit out to the outside where they're able to be cooled by the passing air. They're not buried under the paperwork and they shed the heat. If you look in through the back here, you'll see that the back of these controllers has an inch and a half of fins all over the back of it to try to get rid of any heat. In addition, we run hub motors. Now the hub motor has got a lot of advantages. But from a heat standpoint, they're wonderful. The biggest advantage is when you're driving down the road, let's say you're running 85, 86 miles an hour, and the motor's turning 1300 RPM. That means it's a 1300 RPM fan pumping air across those fins and cooling this down. This bike actually uses the rim that the tire is mounted on as part of the cooling surface. The motor has oil in it, which transfers the heat from the internal windings to the outside motor case. And in addition to the spinning motor, you're of course obviously getting the air blast of the motor, and the air blast of the, uh, from the forward speed passing over the motor, coming through the, the controller on this side or across the fins on this side. All of this to keep the motor, motor cold. The uh, performance on this bike can be tailored to however the customer wants it. While there's three modes on this, three different programs that is, in the controller, we can set each one, one of those programs in three other different ways. So for instance, Econ can have three different variations of Econ, or three different variations of the standard, or three different variations of performance. Now you can't have those all at the same time. There's only three available at any time, but that way we can tailor the performance of this bike to whatever the customer wants. If you want to have a, a, a soft econ for a high range where the standard is a little softer but still have a high performance uh, for some ripping and tearing when you want to, can do. Or as so far, most of the customers that have signed on to uh, purchase this bike as part of the launch, they're asking that uh, we just maximize the range. They don't really want the high performance. But some other features you'll see on this bike, when you look at the back, you'll see that this bike has an all LED tail light, and the purpose here is to try to make this light just as bright as possible for driver recognition from the back. The same as the front, we have two very bright LEDs to get driver's attention as you're coming down the road. The spike is, because you're sitting so far back from the windshield, even though the windshield's not high, this, this uh, <clears throat> windshield won't will deflect the air over you, you're not getting any helmet verbal, uh, no buffing. For more information on this bike, please see our website at www.zelectricvehicle.com. Look for the tab for the LRC. 
and you'll see the LRCX. Or give us a call. Our email address is also sales at zelectricvehicle.com. Thank you.